Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Sammy Zilla. I know I have been MIA for quite a bit, but finally I'm back. I got really busy with my traveling and even so, video banana ka aata jaise chhuti kya tha. But finally I'm back and I promise you guys to be consistent. So what are we doing today? Eyeshadow pigments are very much in nowadays. We have got so many, you know, Indian international brands who have come up with pigments, but playing with it is not easy because the powder is very loose. Well, as when it comes to eyeshadow and palette, you know, it's it's very easy. to apply so what am i using today this is this amazing neon stack that i have from the brand vampire beauty as you can see these are the gorgeous gorgeous shades so i'm going to quickly show you how these pigments are so the top one is a fluorescent green neon color but the only problem with this stack is that it opens one by one like this all the pigments as you can see is completely filled to the top so there is going to be a lot of fallout but anyway that is not a problem i'll tell and unless you know the product is amazing so these are the shades and i think i'm going to do a uh, you know rainbow uh, eye shadow look and i'm going to apply all these colors so i'm really excited and i really hope that this works out so i've already done my base and whatever products i have used i'm going to put all the links below so you can check it out later but let's quickly start with the eye shadow so first i'm going to apply an eye shadow base you know when it comes to bright neon pigments or glitters we definitely need to use a really really good eye shadow base so that all those products are properly stuck on the eyelid so i have this one this product so this one is from uh, makeup revolution it is called ultimate eye base and the shade is medium for me so i think this comes in two or three more shades and the medium is uh, my tone so let's start i'm going to take a very small amount on my hand so i'm going to apply it completely all over my eyelid from the inner corner that's it moving on to the other eye and now i'm going to blend it with a damp sponge i've got this small one from uh, morphe jeffree star sponge i really love the sponge set because it's amazing and it, it's great when it comes to blending so if you guys don't have uh, eye base you can use your concealer that would also do the job so i see that it's blended pretty good now we are going to put some powder on it with me loose powder from maybelline my shade is a uh, medium so i'm going to take the same sponge and apply the powder on my eyelid i love this powder because it's really amazing the way it it builds up and the way it keeps the eye shadow in place doesn't form a lot of crease i want to use it for baking So I'm using this uh, mirror of mine. This is again from Makeup Revolution. This is from the you know Revolution into Friends series, and I really love it. You know, I, I love it. I mean, like who doesn't love uh, Friends stuff and all, right? So here, my eyelids are prepped and it's ready for some neon attack. So before I move on, I'm going to apply powder here under my eyes. Because I'm sure that it's pigments, it's uh, you know dust, so there are going to be a lot of fallout. And as because my base is already done, so I don't want you know those pigments to get stuck on my foundation and this entire place all to also to be colorful. We don't want that, okay? We want this place to be absolutely clean and nice. So I'm going to use the same powder, and I'm going to go with this brush of mine. It's like a powder brush. Again. Um, Morphe Jaclyn Hill Collection Master set. There you go. Yeah. Here we go. So just to start with my eye shadow, I'm going to start from this inner corner towards the end, and I want to make a nice, you know, wing shape eye shadow using all these colors and. Uh, I think the series is going to be pretty easy to start with this and then this and then this and then this to the end, right? So let's see how it turns out. Brush number is triple uh, two. So I'm going to take quickly a very small amount. Wow, it's really really pigmented. So you know, and you can see there's a little bit fall up here already. So we're going to go with very very 
little amount. See, this is how you should start applying your pigments. Take a very small amount. when you have a great eyeshadow base i mean that is the must your eyelid your eye base has to be absolutely dry to make sure that these pigments are stuck properly without even moving so let's move on to the next color which is the fluorescent orange color i'm so excited to use this one because i totally love this color it's so bright and beautiful again a very very small amount not too much cut crease as you can see as I go with the colors <laughs> I really love this one eye already it's so bright and, and gorgeous <laughs> I still have this one to go but anyway moving on to the next one wow god these colors are really pigmented you know I had it with me since last year but I really didn't get a chance to do a neon eye makeup so yeah I thought that uh, let's let's use it and also let's make a video and finally the last shade that's purple but uh, the only thing that I feel is that uh, you know every time you want to try and reapply the color the color keeps on falling off you know as you can see it's happening here so the pigmentation is great but you know it's really not fun to actually use this eye pigment i had it but then you know for such a long time i haven't been using it and today when i am i'm really not that happy but uh, i think the only thing that we can get out of this video is that how to use pigments i mean that is what i wanted to do and and i think uh, I am showing you that you know this is how you can use pigments but then uh, I'm gonna try another different trick on this eye while I do this eye makeup to see that whether you know that thing works out or not but then let, let's completely completely finish it and then we'll come to this one so I'm gonna try and blend these colors a little bit I'm gonna use this one this is another flat brush pat in between the shades to make sure that it's blended yeah it is blending but again what i see is that uh, the color is continuously falling off as you can see and it is just getting lighter and lighter so yeah work out okay so let me try out another trick and i want to check whether you know that technique is uh, the right way to use when it comes to this particular this eyeshadow pigment okay so i'm going to keep it uh, like this instead for now for a bit i am going to create this wing shape with this base and i'm not going to dry it i'm not going to put powder on it it is going to be wet and then i'm going to try using this pigment on it and let's see how it turns out so as you can see that I've already formed the eye shape that I want to do 
So I've just applied the eyeshadow base and I'm not going to apply any powder. So on it, let's try applying the shades. So far as I can see, it's it's sticking pretty well on the wet eye base. And move on to the green one. Yeah, see, I think this one works better. No, let's just not try it and directly apply on the eye base itself. I think so far it's going really good guys you know I don't have to apply the pigments for the second time because um, the color is already intact on place and it's not even falling off so it's it's really great and, and I really wish that I should have tried this technique first but as because I was using this pigments for the first time so yeah that was a blooper but uh, now you guys know that you know when it comes to uh, pigments which is like this this fine and this powdery this is what you need to do it's been quite a struggle guys like seriously it's it's a huge huge struggle with these you know eye pigments when i have used other ones which are so much easier to use and blend this is really really difficult i mean like the color is amazing the pigmentation is great but it's not really easy to play with these colors so it's a big no for me so i'm kind of done with the eye shape and now i'm going to dust off this entire powder here so i just need to correct the shape here so i'm going to use the eye base itself so my this eye is done and this looks absolutely fine and this eye i still have to completely clean it and get it done as perfect as this one so let's do it Ta-da! for the under eye i'm not going to use all these colors i think i'll be going for uh three colors maximum i'm gonna again go for this flat brush and i would like to use the pink one So there I have both the eyes done with the neon pigments. I want to enhance the eye look a little bit more. So I would like to, you know, have a black eyeliner on. So for that, I'm going to use this one. This one is from uh, Colorbar All Matte Eyeliner. I totally love this eyeliner, the way it applies and the matte and everything is super super amazing and, and it's not even expensive you know in, in a very pocket friendly price this is an amazing brand and i love this eyeliner here so let's get the eyeliner done oh god guys i have completely run out of this uh, eyeliner you know the application is no easy tonight because um, it's completely dried out but uh, i have another gel eyeliner so let me go up and grab it and finish it off with it okay just give me a moment all right so i'm back and i have this uh gel liner from l'oreal this is a dark black and it's a matte one so i'm gonna try with it but before that i'm gonna use this uh, pen liner from blue heaven I love this liner because the application is super easy and the color comes off really nice. I'm going to use this one. This is the brush that I'm going to use to draw my eyeliner. On this eye pigment this doesn't give a smooth application i can't use it i i have to use the liner that i have gel one and just use every bit of it oh god i swear it's like you know i have i have not been there for this while and i think this is kind of um, just struggling and i but anyway, I'm not going to give up. You're not going to give up on this one. Because 
because of the dry eyeliner even the eyeliner the graphic liner that i wanted to do was not clean so all i need to do tonight is just fix it just just fix it so i'm going to just take this um concealer so i'm taking this angular brush from gab this is pretty handy and i really hope it does my job so here it is finally i am uh, not really really happy with the way it has come out honestly you know you know guys it's it's not the best at all but uh, i just didn't want to give up you know this can happen with you guys as well when you start doing makeup or you know you have a thing on your mind that you want to do this eye shadow and it uh, it doesn't turn out exactly the way you want to and it is going to be a huge huge struggle you know it's going to make you feel like okay let me just completely clear it off and and just just get done with something simple but uh, you know i would just say that to try your level best when it comes to makeup there are techniques there are tricks to correct it i did my best tonight to you know correct every mistake that i did because of um, you know my my eyeliner all dried up and uh, you know the, the pigmentation uh, the pigments is not easy to use especially this one it has been a huge struggle but i didn't feel like giving up and i and i thought that yeah i am doing this i am doing it for you guys you guys are waiting to actually at the end find out after so much of struggle when a point comes that yeah this is just not going to work out what is she going to do what am i going to do am i going to give up and and uh, not make this video and you guys will never get to know or what is going to be but i'm like i want to show this to you i want to share this with you guys and uh, i'm happy that i am doing it i'm really really happy and guys this can happen with you but just don't give up you know just give it your best try every way possible and it's just going to work out moving on i want to get my mascara done here so i'm going to curl my lashes this one is from red cherry so i'm going to put these now i've already cut the lashes according to my eye shape so let's quickly apply so guys i'm using uh, this um duo adhesive eyeliner adhesive the, this is pretty cool it's not a bad product i mean like it's it's fine it's not that expensive and and it, it does a pretty good job so guys the lashes are on i'm going to put some mascara right now and i am going to use this one forever 52 super volume and lengthening mascara i totally love this mascara it's very easy to apply because of this bristle that they have i'm just going to blend it out with my falsies so there we go just a little bit of blending here it's just like the last finishing touches that i want to give just to clean off this excess here so here it is finally hmm? not that great but i'm happy that at least i could finish off what i started at least i've done something out of it so yeah uh, now just just quickly let's just put some blush on and um, a little bit of contouring and then you're done so for a contour i'm going to use this one from sugar this is the shade top topper so i'm going to take this gorgeous brush of mine again from uh, jacqueline hill morphe collection quickly a little bit of bronzing here one 
this beautiful light peachy shade from flower pots this is the shade this is peach primrose so i'm using this angular blush brush from again the jacqueline hint morphe masterpiece collection just a little bit here blush it's it's it gives a very very uh, natural you know cheeky feel beautiful using this compact from maybelline fit me my shade is 220 natural beige and for the lipstick guys i'm going to use this one from sugar i love this shade as you can see towards the end it's a beautiful nude uh, you know peachish pink shade i totally love it and the uh, shade name is rosalind as you can see that i've used it quite a lot this is one of my favorite new shades from sugar i totally love it it's rosalind we are completely done with the full face and um, after so much of struggle i am happy with whatever has come out today i think i have tried my best and uh, and i really hope that you guys like it Uh, soon again, I'll make another video with uh, pigments so that you know it becomes more easier for you guys to see how the application is really smooth and blending and all that stuff. But I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Very soon, I'll see you in my next one. Till then, everybody, please take care, stay home, and be safe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.